It's 4 in the a.m. We've got our little Paris Press Paris things on. We start at half five, so we're heading down to the start now. It's absolutely pitch black out there. We're ready to go. And the nerves are real. Yeah, the nerves are real. Let's go. Checking my lights and my brakes. Hello, Chris. Hello. 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 Right. <laughs> yeah, that's Frame good. plate. Yeah. Frame plate. Jule yeah. helmet. Okay. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, okay. See you on the other side. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Gonna get my first stamp. Thank you very much. Thank you. See. We're rolling up to the start. I'm so excited. See all the lights. It's like the blooming back pool illuminations around here. We're on the start line. <laughs> the music going on. Getting hyped up now. Let's see if we're still smiling like this at the end. Hopefully we are. On the road, off we go. Kyle's feeling good. Let's do this. 23 Maloney's in, aka Miles. Sun is rising behind us, feeling good. The group settled out again now, so we're just keeping our own pace, not getting dragged along because well, we don't want to tire our cod loins, aka our legs out. It's like Tour de France. It's like Tour de France going off. He's been on the front for the last 10 Maloney's. You all right, Kyle? Yeah, good. We've got quite a big group going on, quite a lot of us. <laughs> Love my neck. 50 Maloney's down, about 700 to go. Our plan is to ride for about 400 kilometres which is 250 miles, rest, 400 kilometers again, rest, get a last little cat snip or sleep, and then 400 kilometers, finny. But we'll see what happens on the road because that's the plan. Don't know if we'll stick to it. Yippee, woohoo! Wow, look at this view. It's beautiful. 68 Maloney's in, about seven miles from the first control. We're at control point Numaho 1. It is 9.43 in the a.m. It's very busy. We're just trying to find out where to get a stamp. Service control. There's no stamp here. Oh, blood my neck. So it turned out we don't need a stamp at this control, but I have got my brevet round my neck, so I do not want to lose it. Can't blame to speak. Carl's whacking a quick uh, jambon baguette down his gullet, and then we're ready to go again. So nervous, like last night. It's like, oh, couldn't sleep, but now I'm oh, very excited. I feel like a kid in a candy shop. On the road again, going places we ain't been before. Kyle's had an absolute nightmare. He dropped a water bottle while descending a hill while we were in a group and there was just no way of getting it. So luckily it's only 50 miles between controls. So we're hoping to get another water bottle from somewhere, but we'll just share the water we've got. We'll make do. Almost 100 Maloney's, AKA miles. I met this fella, Brian, all the way from Arizona. We've come a long way. From Calgary. Nice. Phoenix of Calgary is here. Well, you're used to this hot weather, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's hot <laughs> 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, so I'm not used to it, but I'm yeah. hoping. <laughs> Woohoo! 100 Maloney's down, 650 to go. Yippee! Woohoo! Down we go! We're into the top of climb number four of 11 in the first half. We've split the route into two 600 Ks. Whew. Tell you one thing, it's Trey Show, aka Trey Hot. But we've got a beautiful view, it could almost be the English countryside. Oh, and there's Garmin telling me what we Rolling down into the next control point, and I'm ready for my lunch. We're at the first official control, it is 12.51 in the PM, and we have done 125 Maloney's, aka 202 kilometres. Yes, I am working in miles because it's just what I like to work in. I can't get my head around it. But yeah, let's go and get our brevet stamped. Look, there's barbecue going on. Carl's eyes have lit up. Carl, your eyes have lit up like that, haven't they? Jambon, they have. I stamp, I'm going to say, look how big it is. And I've got, oh, that's yours. Carl's got ham and cheese. And I've got a jambon, aka a nice ham baguette. Oh, yeah. This will go nice down my gullet. I'm ready for it. It's one in the PM, and that means lunchtime. Carl's whacking his sun cream on it. What, what degrees is it out here? It's like blooming. It's like desert out here. Can you leave it like that? Yeah, but yeah. Not, not rubbing it in? Eh? Not rubbing it in? No. All right, okay. Green lean protection, mate. Bonjour. Yay! Merci. <laughs> oh, loads of people come out to cheer us on. It's so nice. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Whew. The cod loins, they came our legs. I feel in this. Don't ask me why I call them a cod loins, it's a long story. But yes, up we go. Woo. Hello. <laughs> it's very hot. Very show. Very, very I don't even know, chilly. what degrees is it? I think 27. Yeah. Feels, feels hotter. It does, it's so still, isn't it? Kyle's on one today, he's powering up. He's still not taking his jacket off. <laughs> 
I don't know how he's coping with that on. He's doing amazing though, so keep on going, Carl. You go for it. Whew, I think he's got a, a carrot to chase with that group up there. I caught up with Kyle and I told him, slow those loins down. Stop getting carried away. <laughs> We've got a lot more Maloney's to go. Look at that sun cream. <laughs> getting a bit carried away, aren't you? Yeah, love it. You're loving it. Oh, look ahead, there's loads of cyclists down there. It is very tempting because you see cyclists ahead and you want to catch up with them, but... And I'm a typical chaser. Kyle's a typical chaser, so I keep shouting matches, aka I don't burn that, them. I think that I We've only got a pack of 12 matches and you've used about 11 of them already. No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm joking. Woohoo! There we go! Cyclists all around! It's a cycling paradise! Mew, 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 mew. Oh, I've got all hyper, I think I've had too much sugar. Up we go now, blooming neck. What goes down must go up. Carl's getting sun creamed. Aww. See? I love these little things. Merci beaucoup. Oh, yeah, we. Oui. <laughs> we'll get some water. Oh, merci, oui. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Carl's getting sprayed. Oh, merci. <laughs> merci. A little mint. I'll need that for my breath I'm later. Merci. A little mint, Kyle. Merci. Merci. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, this is lovely. The kids are loving it. So nice. It's not been raining, I got sprayed in the face with a water gun, but I asked for it. That was lovely, the kids were loving that, it was so good. We're 28 miles from the next control, or as I like to say, Maloney's. It's very, very hot and I started to feel a bit weak, so we get some more snacks down, having a little break. And we just remind ourselves to slow down. Because absolutely baking with a capital B, isn't it, Kyle? Bonjour. So yeah, we don't need to rush this morning. It was good to go fast with the groups, but now we're on our own, there's a headwind and we just think we need to slow down, not burn our matches. Right. Your tyre's going down. So, Kyle has got a puncture, I'm having another cereal bar. Oh, a blooming pill, are they? Got me to check the tyre for where the puncture is. The new inner tube has gone in and Kyle is putting it back on. We couldn't find what caused the puncture, so that just concerned me slightly, but we've both looked about three times and we couldn't see anything, so... We're hoping that it's not going to go up and then go straight back down again, which has happened before. But Kyle's confident, aren't you, Kyle? Oh. And he's still got his jacket on in the blooming 28 degree heat. But he said he feels okay, so... Plan is, keep on rolling to the next control, get the next stamp on the brevet. Woohoo! Puncture fixed, we're back on the road. He didn't kick his ribble this time, did you? So we're all good. We've got 18 Maloney's to the next control, we'll start to stop again because it's so hot. Oh, it's like heaven. I don't know what this is, but it's whacking in the back pocket for later. Seven up for me, kind of coke for Kyle, and then we'll be on the road again. I think my taste buds just died and went to heaven. That is just what I needed, Kyle, is that nice? Yeah. Right in my tummy and I'm feeling good. It's also helping with the period pain. Not ideal. Hello, Cowies, woohoo! I always, for some reason, my period decided to come yesterday morning. I've got really bad stomach cramps, but lemonade always settles my stomach, so it's just what I needed, but it's not ideal. Perks of being a woman. But yeah, Kyle's got some tampons in his bag for me. So, supportive husband on guard. Woohoo, long straight road. Blooming heck, it goes on as far as the eye can see. Wow. Yippee! Blooming heck, that headwind's getting stronger. Pro point, numero de. Well, it's actually new hotel, twab, but it's the second one that we need to stamp at. Oh, Carl just thrown his inner tube in the bin. Yes. Carl, we could have fixed that. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that today. I've got to say, uh, that was hard. That was that 50 miles, 55 miles felt forever, didn't it? Oh, well, it did have a puncher. Yeah, yeah it, it did have a puncher. And the heat did ramp up. And the heat, yeah, the heat's ramped up a level. Whew, get some water. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> a long time in the coming, eye. 5.20 in the PM. Perfect. Day. As you can tell, I'm very sweaty. To be honest, you probably set a barbecue up on my leg and fry a few eggs and a few sausages and they cook in a few minutes, but I've never been so hot in all my life. But, absolutely loving it. The jambon baguette sandwich, I don't know what it is. It's going down an absolute treat. And in Benet. I feel like someone put me in a chicken board in the bag. Yeah, literally. I'm in an oven right now. We've just reached a quarter of the way through the whole thing. 189 Maloney's down, just over 300k. Feeling good. Oh, 
Just go do that three more times, Kyle. Nice, <laughs> we'll do it. Hey, We're definitely going to slow down a bit in the next bit, but I'm just feeling so, I'm just loving this so much. And yeah, it's going to get harder, but we can do it. Kyle, I'm so proud of him. He's doing absolutely amazing. He's been training so hard at home. And I will admit, he is better than me than hills, not the hills today. So, watch this space. He'll be beating me from now on. Well, I'm so proud of him, so I'm going to keep on going. I don't know what it is about bananas, but they really do give me a lease of life. I had them on the 24 hour and they're just, we're going off like rockets. We're going at 20 miles an hour at the minute. I'm in mental. But we've only got 17 miles and then we're at the next control. So cows working that booty. Up we go. Bonjour cows. I'm not sure what cows is in French, but they're not going to understand me anyway, are they? Bon route. It is a bon route. Let me tell you. Blooming lovely. Literally loving every second of this. It's gorgeous. Control point number. What number are we at? Three, four, I don't even know. But we're going to get some. It's so busy here. Literally loads of people. It's crazy. It's very noisy. get postcard here, look. Okay, little postcard. Yeah, continue. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's this way, it's this way, it's this way. How are you feeling? Great. Now look at this sunset. It's gorgeous. It's 8.55 in the PM. And along we go. On the road again, going places we ain't been before. My hood seems to have melted. Oh my, what on earth has happened? I think it's melted. The heat's melted it. Yeah, Come in, heck. Come away from that. You'll survive, don't worry. Oh, but look at that sunset, it's gorgeous. The the sky. Night night, Shepherd, uh, oh yeah, got a good day tomorrow then. <laughs> right, we're at the next control, but it's a non breve checkpoint, but we're just going to get a bit of food just in case we don't make it to the next one before we go to sleep. So let's see what they got. Custard. <laughs> oh, it's macaroni and cheese. Oh, man, you can have this. Might as well get another croissant to be honest. Right, I've just got us a pan of chocolate each for tonight in bed. Mine is strapped onto the back bag. It's going to be very squished when I get there, but it's the only place I've got room for it, so. Let's go, Kylie. All right. Pan of chocolates in the bivy bag for later. Let's go. Thirty-five Maloney to the next control. We can do it. Oh, it's getting dark now. Yippee! Give me oil on my chain. Keep me spinning. Give me oil on my chain. I pray. Give me oil on my chain. Keep me spinning. Keep me spinning till twelve hundred k. Woo! I've gone all hyper. I've just downed a pan of chocolate. We just reached four hundred k. It's 11 in the PM. We're 20 miles from the next control, so we're going to get there, get a brevet stamped, and then find somewhere to sleep. But I've got to admit, I'm feeling a little bit knick knack now, but we're just taking it slow and we're going to get there. I'm just a bit low on energy. I think I need to have a proper main meal. So tomorrow we're definitely going to try and eat at a restaurant or something rather than just having baguettes because they're not hitting the spot. Hopefully at the next control there might be some hot food. I'm really praying for that because right now that's what's keeping me going. Kyle is doing absolutely epic and I feel really bad because I feel like I'm holding him back but he's being really supportive so just keeping on going. 250 Maloney's in the bag. It's 10 to midnight, we're about 10 miles from the next control. We're both quite tired and we just thought let's just stop and sleep because no point in keeping going for another 10 miles, we're both knickknacks. So we've got a lovely spot of grass down here, you can't even see it. Right, you probably can't see it, it's absolutely pitch black, but we're in a baby bag. <laughs> we're ready for bed, Kyle, like a little possum. <laughs> so it's midnight, if we're going to sleep for three and a half hours, we're going to try to, and then we're going to get up. But one thing's for sure, I need a blooming chiropractor after this trip. Like a rock hard solid surface. But this sleeping bag, oh yeah, it is comfy. Now, I'm going to eat a nice crunchy apple and head off for a nice sleep slumber. But yeah, good night. Say night. Good night. Guys, sucking on sweets. Don't choke on them. 3.24 in the AM. We've had a lovely kit for three hours. Actually, do you know what? I slept like a blooming baby down there on that grass. It was lovely. Not cold. I don't know why I've bought all my winter spares because I do not need them tonight. So I'm whacking on my sunscreen because I know it's pitch black. The sun will be coming up in a bit so I don't want to get caught out. And we've got 10 Maloney's to the next control. So I think it was a good decision to stop because we were both slowing. Look now, these lines be spinning like mad again. Kyle, did you enjoy your sleep? Mm-hmm. Are you awake? Ah, I'm in Oh yeah, I fell off my bike yesterday. Not today, not on the route. When we went to a bike shop yesterday, I fell off my bike, so I've got a little 
scratch there, but I'm okay. I survived it. And picked up a crunchy apple, so I'm going to be having that soon as well. Right then, let's get on the road. We've just come into Ludak, which is where the next control is, so we're just trying to look for it now. We should be there very soon. Whew. That sleep definitely does the world of good. We're definitely ready for it. Got a fresh pair of cod loins on me now. We're 435 kilometers in. It is 4.22 in the AM. We're going to get our brevet stamped again. This is control Numiho Sunk, AKA number five. You feeling all right, Kyle? Yeah. Plan is get a quick um, croissant or something here. Then the next boulangerie, we see that it, that is open. We're going to stop there. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's see the thing. Let's see. <laughs> climbing in the night. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Whew. Got a 1.4 mile climb to go up. Up we go. There's a few lights ahead of us. I think we've got about 37 miles to the next control. Well, as I like to say, Maloney's. Can't wait for the sun to come up this morning. Because it's very dark right now. I think it's about half five in the AM. And I'm feeling good. Whew. We've slowed down a bit now because we know we've still got a long way to go. Oh, we've just come across this little, like, food. I don't know what it is, but oh, I've still got banana. I'm hungry. So, you are? I've still got banana. Still got banana, yeah, but oh, look, we've got muffins and everything. This looks great. Look at all this. Wow. Hey. We just met this fella, Pavel, am I saying that right? So he's been going since the last two nights ago, is it? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. How are you finding it? Hmm? How are you finding it? Uh, yeah, it was great, but I'm pretty tired. Yeah. Um, I'm lack of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you come from? Uh, from Poland. Oh, right, okay. Nice. He was just telling me about the crepes. Apparently it's homemade jam. It's made by the lady here, so I'm definitely going to have one of them. So, yeah. Kyle, they do eggs as well. Yeah, so I was trying to look where the secret control is. Right, Kyle, what should we order? What, what do you want, Kyle? secret control's there. Uh, How stressful about secret 482. control? 482. No, Yeah, so it's coming soon then. Yeah, 482. Yeah. Music on, Kyle. Get me to breast. Right, I've got a blooming feast here. I've got a soup, I've got a homemade jam, whatever this is, crepe, and an apple pudding. I'm going all out, I am hungry. Now I'm ready for it. I'm having this crepe, and my taste buds are just darling on to heaven. This jam is like heaven for the taste buds. This is our mate, Jim Hopper's mate. <laughs> you doing okay? London. Yeah. London, yeah? Good. Carl's enjoying his croissant, aren't you? As Jim told us, it's serious business. Yeah, Jim told us if we're enjoying ourselves, we're doing it wrong. <laughs> Hippie, woohoo, it's getting lighter. Down we go. We've got the secret control, hello. So, hello. <laughs> um, so, this is a control that isn't on your, well it is on your brevet, it just says secret control, so you don't know where it is, but it's the first one and there's another one tomorrow, so we'll go a minute. He's only asleep. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci. I feel better now, the sun's coming up. <laughs> yeah, you are right. What a beautiful day! I know, it's nice, isn't it? Now the sun's coming up. <sighs> and how's his name? Kyle. Kyle? Yeah, it's Kyle. <laughs> we rode together all that time, I didn't know your name. Yeah, well, <laughs> lots of people call him Carl. Yeah. But it's Kyle. <laughs> Quick Kyle crossing. Just missed that, thank goodness. Actually, no, not thank goodness. I quite like watching the cars go past. Miles, we've been at home. Just got my next stamp on the brevet at the next control point. And we're going to go down to the town. We're in car hay, more like car yay, because I couldn't wait to get here. Uh, we're going to go and find a bakery in the town, fingers crossed. We're both a bit hungry. So, yeah, car's marching ahead. He's ready. Let's go. Oh, we've gone the wrong way. There's so many bikes here, it's hard to tell where you've been going. Whew. So busy. Right, so we were looking for a bakery and then we thought, oh, we might not be able to find one, so we just went past the Lidl and we're going in there. Kyle's gone in first, he's going to get loads of snacks. We've done 322 Maloney's and we've got 50-something to go until 
breath. So what we're going to try and do? Oh my god, I'm left for way. I'm going to find somewhere to go for one. Eh. You, know, you get off the saddle and then you just all of a sudden you, you, you need to wet yourself. Um, yeah, Carl's going to get a load of snacks to last until breast. Then I'm going to get, get go in and get a load of snacks. We're going to try not to stop till breast now. Um, I just need to get loads and loads and loads of food and just get it down me. So just waiting for Carl's come back because I really, really need a wee. I think we're going to have to go for a nice classy wee in some grass behind Lidl. So perks of being a woman cyclist. Oh, oh she's got a little bread. I'm going to do that. I spent a few coppers. I've got. Chocolate blanc with basically hazelnuts. I'm not pronouncing that. Pizza slice straight in the gullet. And a whole loaf of pan sportif, which is basically bread with like raisins and sultanas and stuff. Absolute favourite, so really happy with that. Latte macchiato. Mm -hmm. Cold, lovely. Coke, water with lemon in it. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, some little donut balls, pizza, some else, some sweets, kind of had a yambon wrap. Lovely. So basically we're going to be stocked up. We're going to keep going till breast now. We're not going to stop unless we need the toilet or something. So yeah, nice and steady. Keeping on going. Whew, we're climbing again. I've got basically a whole loaf of bread in my back pocket. Basically being baked in an oven. It's a sweat on my back. But this route is actually quite hilly. The hills aren't steep. They're just long and gradual. But when you've done however many miles we've done, they start to get to you. Really enjoying it, but... I'm struggling a lot with the uh, period pain right now, so just trying to not focus on the stomach cramp, which is a bit difficult, but I'm still loving it. I'm just having to slow right down because it's just quite painful, but we keep on going. Behind me is a forest, AKA my lavatory. When mother nature calls, mother nature calls. Luckily, I've got biodegradable, I don't know what you call them, toilet paper wipes with me, so. Yeah, that was fine. But now, whacking on a bit of Factor 50. It's 10.45 in the AM. And how many miles are we from Brest, Kyle? It's like 40, but we've got like a 22 mile downhill. We've got a big uphill and, and we've then got a like downhill. We've got five and a half mile climb what? left. Kyle is smashing it now, I feel really guilty. Got I've got really bad period pain. And also my, my, what's it called? Calf is actually really hurting, but I'm just trying to like ignore that. I have some ibuprofen, but my stomach is killing because time of the month my womb is shredding I feel really guilty because Carl's like always a little bit ahead of me but he keeps telling me it's okay don't you Kyle yeah I keep I'm really proud of you because you're doing really well also can I just really point guilty. out yeah we're still going to be at breast in like 31 hours yeah so it's not like bad going yeah you're, do, you're doing really well well like we always said we're doing it to have a good yeah, time yeah you're doing really well so we're enjoying it I'd rather take longer and enjoy it and okay. I am enjoying it yeah, cool. are you enjoying it yeah Oh, look at my face, I've been smiling all the way. I mean, I say I'm enjoying it, my, this saddle is going in the blooming bin. Carl, have a look at this saddle. This saddle's rank, okay? I'll tell you one thing, I need to invest in one. It's my own fault because like a few weeks ago, I thought, oh, the saddle's not actually the comfiest. And I was like, oh, I can't afford to buy a new one. So I'll have to make do. And now I wish I bought one because my bottom is paying for it. Let me put it that way. It took on is board. it real? You know when you do long distance, do you feel like your face is all swollen up? Possibly. I feel like I'm like a, I feel like I've took on a whole I'm like a chipmunk. Family of a million flies. I mean to be place. honest, I am packing like a chipmunk. Have you seen this bag? Back of my jersey, I've got a whole bum and loaf of bread in there, some chocolate. I did think to myself while I was riding along, probably not a good idea to have chocolate in the back pocket because it's probably gonna it's right, melt. It good, yeah. But I'm gonna eat it so it's alright. We're now climbing up La Rock, which is the biggest climb of the ride. Currently 940 feet up. Another 170 feet to go. That was a good climb. And we cod loins. We're feeling it. But we're nearly at the top. I'm just waiting for Garmin to play that happy tune to tell me I'm done. Kyle? Hello. How are your loins feeling? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Lovely. That is what we like to hear. Well, it's quite scenic up here actually. Wow, look at that view over there, Kyle. It's nice. Come on, Garmin. Play us the song. Hey! Woohoo! We made it to the top. Messi! No, I'm right. Thank you, Messi! Wow. It's time to go down. Yippee! Woohoo! Wow, this road surface is so smooth. Beautiful. Oh, I feel so good now. Not too far from Brest, about 30 Malones. 
and then we're over 600k in. Oh yeah! Wow, this view is beautiful! Gorgeous! Oh, this is why I ride my bike, for these views. Someone having some kip. I don't blame them. We're still going down. Bonjour! <laughs> I don't think they're doing PBP, I think they're just on a jolly. Hello, thank you, merci. Chop my water up for me. Thank you so much. Merci. Oh, what's that? Is that like a lemonade or something? Oh, merci, hang on. Sort my hands out. <laughs> oh, merci. <laughs> I don't have a clue where I am, but it's very pretty. Look at the cathedral. It's gorgeous. We're at Brest, hallelujah. Got my stamp. Oh my goodness, that last 50 miles dragged. Dragged the most drag I've ever had. Drinks. <laughs> Kyle's That's just got one thing on his mind. Drinks. Yeah, oh yeah, I've been travelling with uh, bread in my back pocket. I think it's probably going to be mouldy by the time I finish. I don't even like Coke, but I might have a Coke. Sugar. Oh, so I've got lemonade? Yeah, oh. I do. I feel like I don't even know what. I'm just hot. I think it's lemonade. I'm just really hot. I think the tiredness kicks into play and I had a run in with a bush. And now I'm sunglasses. Basically, I came around the corner and Kyle was lying in the bush because he didn't unclip on time. Fell in the bush and now his glasses that I got in the tour de France are gone. I'm just slightly hoping that we might be going back that way. But I don't think we are going back that I'm way. I'm not holding out much hope. So now you're going to have to be squinting. At least you won't get sunglass tan lines. Mm. Oh well. We're on baguette number I don't know what. This time we've gone for a pate, but to me it doesn't really taste like pate, but you know. Kyle's happy with it, aren't you Kyle? We've also got a nice orangina. Do the job. It's 2 in the p.m. And it's another 68 miles to the next control, so we're going to have a little rest and then go again, aren't we? Kyle's like a blooming rocket up the hill, I don't know what's got into it, but we need to slow down. You have to wait for me, aren't you? Must have been the thought of getting to rest. Mm. But I'm happy. The only thing I'm not happy about is the amount of dollar I'm spending on food. Oh, but, oh well, all coming out, someone just dropped their apple. There's a lot of people around, so I can see all of this. Kyle, how would you rate the ride so far? Out of 10. You might have just got to look at that graph. Oh, is that coming up? Mm. Don't show me that. 4,600 metres, fine. That's We've got 384 miles to go, so we can do it.